My respect, General, sir. Do I look like a general? Uh, I don't know, General, sir. If I'm asking you that, it probably means that I'm not. Well, it could be a test to see if I'm being a good soldier, General, sir. Then you flunked the test. You are crap at recognizing rank. They never taught me that, General, sir. Plus, I don't see so good. General, sir. Is there a boss guard to help you with that? Yes, General, sir. He posted me here and said to deal with it, General, sir. This village is condemned, and without a doubt it is better than us. All right, we're not going to waste all day on this, and stop calling me General, sir. My name is Vulcan. Uh, understood, General Vulcan, sir. Whatever. Forget about it, soldier. See you later, soldier. Sybil, can I talk to you? Yes? I need your help. Come with me. If you want. Mercenary. Do something for you? No, thank you. I don't need anything for the moment. According to the villagers, there's a beast haunting the swamp, and it's attacked them several times. I have heard about it, yes. And although I don't have any concrete information about the creature, there are some things that corroborate what they say. 
Even though we aren't very good at magic, we still feel it. And since we came to the swamp, we have all felt a powerful source nearby. The problem is that the source seems distorted, corrupted. Kind of like the one the Ice Lords use, only not the same. I hope for our sake you're right about that. Otherwise we're really up shit creek. We are very certain of it. But this magic could very well have transformed one or more creatures in the swamp, making them more aggressive, bigger. Who knows? Something to frighten the villagers, in any case. So you're telling me the thing is magic and corrupted? Brilliant. Just what I needed. I'll be going now. Haven't you anything better to do than bother me? Hang on a sec. The steward himself sent me here to give you a hand. Wonderful. I've been after him for months to get me some help, and he sends me an armed ape. You practice medicine, I presume? Your tools seem rather barbaric. are fine. That's not to say I don't get a little barbaric sometimes. Only sometimes? Believe me, I've already used them to do a little surgery on a few evil tongues, and nobody ever complained once. So be it. If you're as gifted as that, I guess I have nothing to lose. In fact, there is something that you could doubtless do for me. I'm worried about my assistant, Heyman. I haven't seen him for a while now, and I fear he might have gone into the swamps to look for the plants I need. We're forced to venture further and further in to find the plants we need. With all that's been going on lately, I forbade him from going back out alone, but the boy is nothing if not stubborn. Uh, stubborn? Yeah, I hate people like that. Please find him. He's a good boy. He's done nothing but help others since he arrived. Without him, the House of Healing would be a house of death. If I'm gonna be slogging through the swamps anyway, might as well take a look around and try to bring back the plants you need too, right? Got any drawings or descriptions? Yes, that's a good idea. I would be grateful to you. But above all, try to bring back my assistant Heyman in one piece. He is your priority. For the rest, basically, I need food, medicinal herbs, and of course, I wouldn't say no to a few pre-prepared potions. All of our stock seems to disappear so quickly. I'll give you the parchment that I made for Heyman to help you recognize the specimens I need. He knows them by heart now, after so many trips. Right. Plants, potions, chow, and one assistant. Uh, if I come across any elven tea, would you like a cup of that too? That would be lovely. Have you heard any rumors about a beast wandering around in the marshes? They are not rumors. There is something in these marshes, and I have a patient in a coma that confirms it. Something? What does that mean? Where can I find it? I don't know exactly what it is. The wounds don't resemble anything seen around here before. What you seek is large, powerful, and obviously has enormous claws at its disposal. The wounded man was found west of the swamps, crawling towards the village. If you really wish to fall upon that beast, that would be a good place to start. But bear in mind the possibility that it may be the beast which falls upon you.
Let's talk about your healing house. I found you a few health potions. Ah, shit. I don't have enough yet. I'll be back later. I'll take my leave. See you later. Do I have to spill it out, or should I just put my boot in your arse? Clear off! Would you just shut your stupid mouth for two seconds, please? The steward sent me here to help you. Oh, that's all I need. Don't he think I got enough on my plate? Now he sends me some ore blade from God's nowhere. Hey, as long as it ain't me is paying for you, hey? You want help? Knock yourself out. Well, I warn you, there's plenty to do. Get to the point before I set your breath on fire. All right, take it easy. No need to get nasty, eh? You want help? Yes or no? Keep talking. Well, for a start, you could try and find one of my patrols that's gone missing. At first, I thought maybe one of those halfwits was sleeping it off under a tree somewhere. But it's been a while now. Maybe something bad happened to him in the swamp. I guess I could go back and check. What a coincidence. That's exactly what I was gonna ask you. After that, well, I suppose a pro like you, I guess you would be useful helping out the sentries. It won't be luxury. I don't know if you've seen what we're supposed to fight with, but, wow, if you can have a word with your quartermaster to see what he can do for my lads, you have my blessing. The benediction of a drunk. Better and better. It's what all us fucking mercenaries dream of. All right, I'll see what I can do. Right. We may be living in the arsehole of virtue, but being armed like a bunch of tramps, we can do without. And while you're at it, when you've been to the forge, you'll probably feel like letting off steam a bit. Why don't you go and take it out on my lads? What do you mean? Kick their arses so they can't sit down and get drunk instead of patrolling. And show them a couple of tricks while you're at it. A bit of training. Couldn't do no harm. Your men can't afford to keep their thumbs in their asses. It's time to teach them how to use those weapons. Knock yourself out, Payblade. I'll go and shake them awake. Time to go again, while they're still warmed up. Why not? Let's go. making progress. If you whack them enough times, they remember how to defend themselves. Or are you up for giving them one last lesson? One last lesson. 
Save their lives one day. My pleasure. I like this way of saving lives. Return. What is your desire? Get that forge cooking. You've got work to do. I don't want to see so much as a dent in the guard's armor. And we need some weapons with edges that will actually cut something. I don't even have enough materials to forge a single sword worthy of the name. Sorry, but if what you want were possible, it would have been done long ago. What's more, I'm not really a blacksmith. If you want an assembly line of weapons, I wouldn't count too much on me. You have a forge, you know how to work metal. You're a blacksmith, our blacksmith. The one I'll hold responsible if our guards are poorly equipped. So unless you want me to shove one of your disgustingly artistic creations right up your ass, you better roll up your sleeves and outdo yourself. But I, I assure you, 
I never said that I didn't want to render you service. I could wish for nothing better than to tackle a worthy task for such as you. But I must have raw materials. Even I can do nothing without them. I must say I'm beginning to appreciate your methods. Not in every case, nor with every person, but they do seem effective. So what is it you need? Everything you can possibly bring me. Metal, leather, coal, preferably in large quantities. A dozen or so pieces of each would make a start, I suppose. I'll take a look around and see what I can find. The steward said there was a beast attacking the villagers. This is what one hears, yes. Something is wandering through the swamps, devouring the reckless. The saddest part is that it's often the guards who end up lost, along with their equipment. Meanwhile, we are overrun with refugees who serve no useful purpose at all. You got any of that famous elven bread that can feed a family for six months? Are you insane? Do I look like a baker? Huh. It's always the same, isn't it? Just because you have pointy ears, everyone assumes you schlep around with an enormous bag stuffed full of your land's most famous culinary delights. I'm afraid I don't. And let me fill you in on a closely guarded secret among the elven people. Our bread is disgusting. Better that you eat sand, which would stay down easier, as well as tasting better. I don't have enough materials. I'll come back. Vulcan, unless I miss my guess. What brings you here? Let's talk about your healing house. I found you a few health potions. Here, 
I hope these will help cover your needs for a little while. They will prove very useful, I promise you. And thank you. Where could I find some food for you? Sadly, there isn't much choice. You have to go look for it in the swamps, unless you want to bargain for it with a steward. Perhaps he will be more generous with a mercenary than with a simple apothecary. Where could I find some food for you? Sadly, there isn't much choice. You have to go look, perhaps. I'd like to see what you have to sell. What can I do for you, Vulcan? Let's talk about your healing house. Where could I find some food for you? Perhaps. I'll take my leave. See you later. Turn. What is your desire? I don't have enough materials. I'll come back. <laughs> 